folks, it's me again. For those of you who didn't watch our first video, my name's Alan Cameron of EarthSense and Wooden Box Company. What I'm going to be doing today is discussing the filling of the pyramid planter with you. It's very simple. Um, people have asked me, but does the growing medium stay in the, the planter without there being shelves in between the tiers? The answer is no. Think about this. If you dump a load of loose earth onto open ground, it will naturally form a pyramid. So in this case, gravity is helping us. So what I'm going to do is I'll be bringing the, the grain medium in closer, and then we'll go through the filling process, um, and we'll take it step for step as we go and fill it all the way to the top. So there's everybody can get a clear idea of how the pyramid planter gets filled. Okay, so just to, before we get into the actual filling, I'd just like to go through what, we, what you would need. Um, this size planter will take roughly five 30 cubic decimeter bags of compost, preferably not potting soil. Compost is a better idea. I have here a special mini composted cattle manure from a local dairy farm, and I've mixed it in with some of this on a 50-50 basis. Um, I've got another bag or two left here, which I'll then also mix in because I think we'll probably use all the medium that we have here today. Right, you'll need a fork. If you're going to be blending, you'll need a fork just to mix it through in the wheelbarrow, or you can get yourself a sheet, put it on the ground and do what the cobbers do. Throw the whole lot in the middle and then drag your sheet from side to side until the, the whole mixture has been blended through and through. Naturally, you will need a shovel in order to get your medium into the planter and then you can use either a watering can or if you have a garden hose with an adjustable nozzle handy that works also because you're going to be needing to wet your compost layer for layer so that it can compact and seep neatly into the planter as, as we go. Right so we're going to start and I'm going to open the one end. I leave the bottom tier in and we can start filling. So, we'll take some of this lovely stuff. And you just shovel it in. Now as you go, try and smooth it out, spread it out. Use your shovel for that. Because what you want to do is get your first layer to the top of the bottom tier so that you can then wet that first layer. Right, now it's time to get your hands dirty, spread it out. Right, there we go. Now we're up to virtually the top of the first tier, or the bottom tier, as it were. Now it's time to just wet this mixture a little bit. Good, so what we've done now is we've got to the top or the bottom of the of the first layer here. We've filled our bottom layer um, and now we're going to move on towards the top. But before I go on, guys, you know, I'm standing here in the most beautiful surroundings. I'm surrounded by feinbosses in flower. It's beginning to color. It's truly an awesome and inspiring moment to be out in nature. Um, just coming back to life out of the depths of winter. But anyway, I, I'm rambling now. So let's get on with this. So I think what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to put this tier back. And I'm going to be working from that end. I'm going to, so I'm going to close here simply because it'll be easier from that end for now. So we'll close there and then I'm going to be getting my hands in the poo here and fill by hand. Make sure that you smooth it out, level it out, spread it. And I'm going to be using the rest of that other bag of compost on the top layers of each tier when once I've filled so that when we begin to wet 
compact it actually does settle a lot easier because this composted cattle manure is very coarse and will obviously provide very good drainage notwithstanding the fact that the bits of straw that are in here um, are going to decompose as I said a little earlier over the next few weeks and months don't worry if there's a little bit of stones and so on if you had to choose this kind of blend it just helps to aerate the soil so it's not a problem you don't need to take them out okay so now we've filled up to the top there of the second level and now we are just going to wet it again you can wet the sides here as well just to help it compact there bearing in mind that the floor of your planter has got a shade cloth floor so it provides plenty of drainage we don't want to waste water but what I'm actually saying is if it runs out the bottom it's not the end of the world now we're just going to keep going we compacted that took in this stuff in here Okay, so now we've almost reached the top. Now I'm just chucking it in. It's fine. You can pick it up. Stuff that falls over the side. You just gather. Put it inside. Naturally, if you are using a compost that has come from in bags like this, from a commercial outlet you won't be doing what I'm doing right now but I'm working with really natural organic stuff here which I really like by the way okay so now I'm going to put a little bit more of this in here going to use the rest just to smooth out the tears at the top and then all of them all the way down to the bottom I'm going to replace this and check it out guys <laughs> nothing is falling out so really this is why it's called the amazing pyramid plant one of the reasons by the way so now I'll just chuck some of this in here as well mix that in there a little bit more cow poo and straw and all sorts of microbes all the good stuff good so what you want to do when you get to the top here is you want to fill all the way to the bottom of your center plug just remember that when you comp when you when you're wetting this and it begins to settle the growing medium will gravity will draw down so it will separate from there. So it's best to fall all the way to the top so that when it does settle, it still fills your tears. Okay, so. Stuff it in all around. Build it up nicely. This stuff in this bag is already wet. Don't know how that happened. But we will be wetting it again. Good. so now I'm going to be putting the rest in the tiers here and now you can see as I smooth them all out how your medium just stays there Right, I've folded up, 
set out all the tears. Now I'm going to give it a good wetting from the top all the way around. I can already see the medium compacting there, subsiding a little. Give it a good wetting. Right, now your plant is all wet, it would be a good idea just to leave it to settle for half an hour to an hour. And if you need to add any more medium in, do that. Give it a very light wetting after that and then you can start planting straight away. So now you might want to ask, what am I going to plant in here? But I would like to plant strawberries in here. I want to plant this whole thing up with strawberries just because I love strawberries. I've grown strawberries successfully for three seasons and I just love strawberries. There we have it guys, planter is filled. Now if you like what you've seen, please leave a comment below. We love to hear your views on our videos. And you can look out for the next video which will be coming up shortly of the actual planting. Thanks for watching guys, take care until next time.